Mike here from Blue Dog Prospecting, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. You can hear the noise off in the background there. We've got this fella with us. We all know him. That's Crouchy, the surfing prospector. Go check out his channel if you haven't already. He's just playing around with me SDC in this beautiful little spot. And uh, I'm basically back to my old hole that I filled in here a couple of weeks ago. I worked right through to here. I haven't yet touched this fractured bedrock, so we've got a bit of dirt here to go and test. As you can see, nice grey decomposing bedrock and clay out of there. Just hit that clay pocket. So we'll go and uh, sample that out. Sorry about me puffing and panting. Bit unfit at the moment, haven't been out for a while. And uh, we'll open that hole up enough to pan out of later. And then, if we get time, might come over and break some of this bedrock if this one here doesn't seem promising. We can actually see here, just here, there's some decomposing plant matter. And that's actually old tree roots. So this area here, after a bit of investigation, we've learnt all this fractured bedrock is due to a massive tree that's been sitting here and has obviously ripped out and flying down the creek so this is Jamie's old hole from last week um, there was a few bits specked off the rock over here so but as you can see just fill your holes back in guys and girls I'll probably put some of my tailings like here up into here later on and that'll fill in all them gaps and, and it becomes another gold catch again when you get another flood so anyway I'll go and pan this out and let you know if we get any shiny yellow I couldn't help myself I collected up two buckets I'm going to take them down the river and run them in a sec just having a look here we've got nice nice decomposing bedrock with good clay around it so fingers crossed we should get something nice there Crouchy's getting some gear, he's found himself a nice sounding target just up there. So we might wait for him to dig that and see what he gets out. Alright, so the Crouch has got his target out. It's in that pan there somewhere. It's my precious. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. It's a bit of gold. Could be, be could be a bit of could be a bit of lead. Could be a bit of lead. Very similar sounding. Oh. Might have to boil down flat there. Oh. That's got it. Bit of steel. Geez, that sounded gold, didn't it? Yeah, that's probably off an old house, eh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, first treasure for the day. Anyway, I'll go over and we'll see what's in these buckets. Here we are down at the beautiful little creek. You can see a little wall I built there just to give the kids a deeper spot to swim in. You can also set up the sluice there. The water levels dropped significantly since our last visit. But uh, anyway, you do get that. Still nice and shallow, enough to snipe. Done a few pans along the edge here, nothing. Because we're actually on a outside bend here, and I'm standing on the inside. Anyway, let's get in and see what we have or haven't got. So, I've got to keep all of this nice clay, which will bust that up. Get that down through the classifier, but you see here, Stuck to the bedrock that I've pulled out. There's some really good wash dirt there. And we found a lot of the gold was actually coming out of this stuff that was just stuck to the rocks. It wasn't actually coming out of the dirt itself as much as all of this stuff. So don't just throw your rocks aside without giving them a wash. 
because it can pay off. Anyway, it's a bit hard one-handed. I'll put this camera down and get into it. Right, eh? well, things aren't off to a good start here. We've done a full bucket and one pan out of this one. And we got one little tiny, tiny little flake. There's a few little fines in there too. Very, very fine, though. You wouldn't be able to see them. So we'll run the rest of that, and I think we'll move spots because it is off to the side of where the pay streak actually was. So, but you never know unless you try it. Well, that's a little bit better, but still, for half a 10 litre bucket, it's not really what we're looking for. So, we'll go over and we'll move over a little bit and find that pay streak again. Audio. So, that was a bit bust, so we're going to try this area here. We know some good gold came out just there. So I'm going to come back in front of it. I'm going to start breaking open some of these crevices here. We'll work down until we find the bottom of that bedrock. Maybe even, see we've got bedrock here and here. We might even work that crevice down into there and see what comes out. Anyway, we'll see how we go. bits out of the way first. It's like pulling apart a three-dimensional puzzle sometimes, isn't it, Crouch? There we go. That's got all of it. Pull that one out. You see all that real nice dirt on there? That's what we're chasing. Yeah. We're chasing that. Yeah. Crouchy's over there thinks I'm talking to him, but I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> oh. <Sorry. laughs> yeah, so yeah. scrape all that off there. That's what we're after. You see that rock just busting away there, so. We'll sit that one aside, clean him up after. <coughs> Get all these nice bits put in the bucket, give it a wash. This is where we've been getting a lot of nice nuggets out of this stuff here. Knock too much overburden in while I'm going. This is breaking apart nice. So, that 
that means that we're still getting good wash dirt, rounded looking river stone and that down in there. That's a good indication that there could be something down deeper. Nice looking bits of quartz. There. Yeah, so we'll get all this dirt out. And then we'll start washing some pans. See now we're hitting that nice clay again, so. Righto. We're using the XP pan today. Get them from Justin Cleghorn at Aussie Detectorus. This one here, top bloke. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, Set is up here on the tripod. We're going to start washing these rocks off. Get these rocks nice and clean because I can tell you now if you're not doing this, you are losing gold. As I shown in the last video we did in this spot. Jamie was just panning the crevices out, and I was just cleaning the rocks. And you saw how much gold was washing off just same rocks in a handful of dirt, so. We're a little bit off to the side of the pay streak here again, but that don't mean anything. As pay streaks move, depending on what the water course is doing. So we've got that done now. We'll just mash that all up. We've got good material out of them, off them rocks, as you see. We'll pan it down now and see how we go. All we're doing here, we're following this pay streak. That's where I started. It's where the gold sort of runs out on this edge here, so we know it's well and truly down through this section there's some good stuff come out of there we've just come down to here where we were doing some trialing last week and see the nice clay i've just got my little rake I'm just raking back all this material yes there's probably gold in that overburden but i'm not going to sit there and spend all day going through that overburden for a few specks when i know when i hit this gray layer just here Camera doesn't do much justice, but a bit of a change in soil colour there. That's where the pay streak starts. So we just get all of this overburden off and rake it back. Get it right out of the way. And we can just see this crevice that I'm following. Nice crevice in there, hopefully. So we'll just work, start here where the water is work our way across into there 
and then if we get enough water fill it up at the end we might yabby bump it out and you still see a nice fractured bedrock though so Crouchy's up that end of the pay streak getting the odd speck here and there I'm working for the man <laughs> so breaking rocks and heaving sand let's see how we go well hey Got cleaning out that crevice like I told you before. Just got this nice little piece. Nothing to ride home about, but all gold is good gold. We're still gonna ride home. Right and... Good stuff. Crouchy got a little pe couple of little pieces as well. He's Come sucking on, them man. up with the schnuffer bottle. Yeah, I can hardly hold it. <laughs> so heavy. Oh. Couple of kilo. <laughs> So we'll keep smashing into it. I think we're both just hitting the pay streak again. So Grouchy's just over there. I'm just here. So good stuff. So we're panning through that bit of clay. Nothing special. Got that little bit. Still not too bad. So keep going through it and see what we get. As you can tell by the voice, I'm not very enthusiastic on today. But you never know. So that's just how that crevice there. We've hit a really thick clay deposit there now, which isn't worth going down through. You can see me rock here, tailings there. So I'm just throw all that overburden back in that hole to fill it up. So I think the crouch is going to do a pan out of this bit of yellow clay stuff we found. It's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Pioneer Paul, Pioneer Paul, no, it doesn't taste any good, mate. <laughs> uh, so if he gets in, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> right, that was me next pan. It's a bit hard to see it in this dirty water, but you can see there, a couple of little specks. Anyway, we'll get them nuggets soon. Oh yeah, seen a little fleck there a minute ago. Big fleck actually. Well, not not huge, but nice piece nevertheless. Almost a little picker. It's a bit chunkier piece. A couple of little fines as well. So that's looking a bit more promising. That's more what I'm used to out of this area. So we'll just uh, we'll move again because that area is pretty well cleaned out now. We'll go and fill that hole in and uh, move down there where Crouch is a bit. Well, Mother Nature's got the sky rumbling at us. So it could well be that time of day where we need to pack up and move on. Very angry sky gods. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it for us today. Don't forget Crouchy, surfing prospector. Go and check out his channel. He's got some good stuff on there. He's heading over to Western Australia to do the winter season. Eh? Yep. There'll be lots more gold nuggets coming up on your channel. Yeah, big nuggies. So, go and check it out. Anyway, we've got the gear packed up. We're going to head back to the car and mosey on out of here. So, before this rain ends up coming and washing us away. Don't forget, if you like what you see here today, give us that big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, little dinger bell, and I do have a patron page. Any little bit of support for fuel, food, all of that sort of stuff along our journeys, all helps bring these beautiful videos to you guys. Rightio, that's me signing out. Peace.